Hey loves, Mahania here and welcome back for another weekly vlog. This is actually my second vlog that I've uploaded to my channel. We have some footage from a toy store that we visited, a couple of items from one of my favorite bakeries. I also have a unboxing which I recorded about two, three months ago and I'm gonna share that with you at the end of the vlog. So hope you all enjoy. This is a cooler bag which we picked up from Walmart last summer. I keep a plastic bag on the side just in case we need it for trash or anything. You never know what you may need a plastic bag for. Here is the barcode just in case you want to scan that if you're looking to purchase the item. So we're going to get her loaded up and I will see y'all at the park. Once we start setting up everything, I realized that I forgot our tablecloth as well as our paper plates, but we made it work and we enjoyed a beautiful lunch in the park. It was raining and storming for so long, so as soon as we got a day that was sunny enough and dry enough, we decided to spend it at the park. With me, I have three of my planners. On the top, I have a Moleskin Pocket Daily Planner. I use that to jot down everything that I eat for accountability as well as just keeping track of reactions that I have to certain foods. This is a Hobonichi A6 in a five year cover. And in this cover, I have a Hobonichi Weeks. This cover here is the Filofax Safiano zip i can't remember the color but all these items will be linked in my amazon store under the planner section and i will leave the link to the store in the description box below We were driving past this really cool looking store so we had to hit the block park and get in there to see what was going on so this is a shot of the front of the store so just come along in with us as we explore and see what is going on in here just a snake that one has four four bodies that one sucks which one that the top one. He's got my left finger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so cute. <laughs> oh my god, you can make a whole plush channel on that. Let me make a shot. Boo boo! 
It's cold. What's it turning into a car? Pork, pork. Hey. Just did that thing. I'm sorry, too. Um, oh, right? Oh, wow. That's a pumpkin. That's creepy. This store is so cool. Oh, look at the chalkies, like Sharpies. Oh. Maurice, they have the Golden Girls finger puppets. Thank you for being brave. Oh, 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 yeah. Traveled down the road back again. Hey, so we started from the bottom, now we're here, girl. Oh, yeah. Well, this is my butt right here. It goes like this. On the way back from Alameda, we stopped in Oakland at my favorite bakery, Mariposa Bakery. This is a gluten-free, okay, dedicated gluten-free facility bakery. So if you have celiac disease or like myself, just sensitive to gluten, definitely check them out. They're located on Telegraph. Hit Google, type in Mariposa Bakery and let map quest or apple maps uh directs you how to get there this is a cheesecake this was our first time trying it and let me tell you it did not disappoint and yes we did crack it open right in the jeep we wasn't going straight home we had a lot of stuff to do and we we was excited and anxious to see what this thing tastes like and let me tell you it was everything This is a chocolate croissant that I got from Mariposa Bakery. This footage was in my camera and I think it was like, I don't know, it could have been a week before the cheesecake, but I decided to just add it in since I had, since I put in the clip of the cheesecake, just to show you another item that they offer that is absolutely delicious. A lot of food that I buy, which is gluten-free, it tastes gluten-free to me, which is just like the texture is just all off. Like, it's just, I don't know. But at Mariposa Bakery, everything that I've eaten has been so delicious. And the texture is one-to-one. -one. Like, it's, it's just, it's on point. So I really enjoy going to their bakery. I haven't been there in a couple of weeks just because I've really been watching my sugar intake. But when I do go, I truly enjoy it every single time. Maurice surprised me with this tumbler from Starbucks. The camera is not doing the color any justice. I have to film it in the daylight 
just so you can see how beautiful the color is. I got a new cover for my um, Hobonichi Week. So this is a the same type of color cover, just a different color. So it is a black Filofax Safiano zip. I absolutely love it. The purple fuchsia pinkish kind of color that I had on there. It just was like clashing with everything. It didn't fit into my color palette. I like neutral colors and blacks. Um, or muted colors, I should say. Not neutral. I do love neutrals, but mute, uh, muted colors for my decor. And the other one was just too bright. And so it was just clashing with everything. So I decided to get the black. And I am in a love with the black sorry about the glare and the lighting and all of that but i just want to go ahead and include this in so y'all can see and i'm just giving y'all a planner update um on the hoping Ichi weeks that it is in this cover here and then also i was holding the camera with one hand as you can see while i was unboxing it so yeah sorry about this little clip but i just get tired of not including things and sharing it so i just decided to just give y'all the real raw and uncut unboxing of the falafax safiano zip in black we stopped in trader joe's and i decided to get some tulips for my mom i got the ones that have the bulb still in it which are here this is a few days after they bloomed i forgot to show them to you while they were fresh but they're absolutely beautiful and she loved them this clip i recorded i think in december last year so december 2022 it could have been no i think it was november actually um but anyway i ordered some accessories for my airpods max to protect them and keep them as clean as possible. I did get the silver pair. Silver pair. Ugh, I'm just tongue tied today. I ordered the silver pair. And um, as you can see the headband is white. So I ordered this silicone cover. That goes under the bottom of the headband. On the area that rests on my head. And that will protect the headband from being stained. By any oils or product that I have in my hair. The items that I am unboxing now are the pink rosy, wait no, what does it say? Pink posy rosy AirPod Max case. Okay, I'm looking at the website and they are currently sold out, but they do have a notify me button so that you can be notified when they restock. And then I also got the pink posy rosy AirPod Pro Gen 2 case. I have the Gen 1 AirPod Pros, which I'm going to be upgrading those soon. But, oh wait, or did I get the AirPod Pro case? Maybe I got the AirPod Pro case. I think I got the, I don't know. Hmm. Either way, they're both $20. And then the cover, well the price is not showing for the AirPod Max case is what they're called. Um, I call them a cover, but it says case here, and I will leave a link in the description box below in case you want to check that out. I'm not affiliated in any way 
just sharing the link to where I purchased this from just in case anybody wants that The AirPods case came with a adhesive, um, two adhesive little patches, and then one adhesive strip inside the top to the case. So I sprayed the case with rubbing alcohol and wiped it down just to remove any oil or dirt so that it would stick better. I love that the case came with the adhesive because several cases that I purchased before, I would actually use my adhesive tape roller and run it across the top and like the sides of my AirPods just so, or the Apple case so that the protective case would stick to the case of the um, AirPods. After I put on the case and added the key ring, I grabbed my wireless AirPod charger just to make sure that my AirPods would charge with this case on and they do charge. So I'm really 
happy about that because some cases aren't compatible with wireless chargers but this one is so here are my airpods max and airpods pro together and they are everything they are so cute i'm very happy with my purchase this is what three months later and three or four months later and I haven't had an issue with them peeling, chipping, anything like that. And they're very, very protective of my AirPods. I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for tapping in with me. I will be on camera soon and making more personal chit chat videos. Just getting my background and everything set up. So that it is aesthetically pleasing and not distracting because I have a lot going on in my workspace. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video.